Hello, my name is Albert Gurrier, and welcome to another edition of Slam and Synapsis. It's been ages since I've done one of these, but bringing you this because I feel it's very important, same way I do all my segments, but here it goes. There is an incident that's happening over in Saudi Arabia that I'm sure a lot of you are aware of. It's the killing of a journalist that went over there for one premise and wound up, wound up, who knows? No one knows yet if he's been, officially if he's been murdered or if he's alive and just hidden someplace, no one knows this just yet. Although more sources are leaning more towards the murder aspect than the he's still alive. So as it stands right now, there is a lot of companies that have put out dealings with Saudi Arabia, be on the safe side in most cases, just because they don't want to be associated with what's going on. WWE on the other hand, Despite the fact that there's been lots of lots of protests from a lot of people, despite the fact that the Senate has advised against it, has chosen to just kind of go through with it. If you look at their event calendar, you'll see it's there, but you won't see anything in terms of a location or whatever. But they still plan on putting it on on that same date. There's no indication that anything's going to be done differently. Um, I've seen WWE on occasions do tributes on the fly. Uh, I'm sure a lot of us remember the fact that they dropped the Fabulous Moolah's name from the Battle Royal pretty quickly. There was no monitoring the situation there. They just did it. There's a lot of things that they do pretty much on the fly without even thinking about it, without even as a moment's notice. But in this particular case, they're dragging their feet. They're saying that they're going to keep things under, they're going to, they have it under monitoring. They're monitoring the situation, but nowhere do they make a stance in terms of what happened in terms of the whole thing. Now, with some of their audience, they think that they could just kind of like brush it out of sight, out of mind, and people are just going to buy it. They think that the intelligence of their audience is not sufficient enough to where they're not going to remember or know certain things. In this case, it's getting a lot of attention from a lot of mainstream sources that go beyond their core audience. And at this point, if they're not taking a stance and thinking, okay, we're going to go on through with this, it's going to affect them more than anything. I know it, you know it, a lot of people know it. Um, and then, of course, there's the connection with Linda McMahon being as part of the Trump candidate. So there's that thing you got to think about, the fact of how definite is WWE going to stick with the Saudi Arabia card when they have basically a person in Trump's cabinet that essentially is working under someone who has no problems with being tied to Saudi Arabia at all in terms of his approaches, in terms of his agreements, in terms of his overall just... Just things that he says and does. So how much of that is tied into it? How much of... It's it's obvious that there's a McMahon-Trump connection. It's been that way for years. And I don't think that Vince is going to say, okay, we're not going to go to Saudi because we might, we might risk offending Trump. And that's just wrong. It's like they're willing to keep going through with the show... But they're not really taking a stance on anything one way or the other. It's just like, okay, we're going to monitor it. We're still going to go on. But they've yet to say anything at all. Out of sight, out of mind, I guess. So, question to you is if WWE does round Crown Jewel from Saudi Arabia, will you watch it? Would you still watch it? Would you think that, oh, it's just a wrestling show with the guys that like to watch wrestle? Just on a program that happens to take place someplace else? Or is it going to be a, okay, I'm boycotting it. I'm not going to watch it because I'm not thrown to the fact that they're running this place in a dangerous area where things could possibly happen to them. And there is that possibility that something could happen. Big crowd, big audience. They know that everyone's looking at them. So, and... 
You know by the fact of the murder of the journalist or alleged murder of the journalist that things get done to make get a statement made. What kind of statement would they make on the show, if at all? Or would they just think, or would they just be thankful that they're going to be getting the coverage that they are and being allowed to be a propaganda machine or allow WWE to be their propaganda machine for something that they really need? So many questions, so many awkward moments to be dealt with here. So, if you like this video, throw a like on it. Mm. If you want any, if you want to comment on it, drop a box, comment in the box below. More than happy to read them. More than happy to answer them. I'm to be on the, to be on the disclosure side, kind of politically naive, politically stupid in a sense. But there's some things that you just know. I may have been born yesterday, but it wasn't at night. So, drop me a comment. And let me know what you think. Until next time. This is Albert Gurrier with Slam Synapsis saying see you next time and so long from Ringside. Goodbye, everybody.